Unit 4 Reproduction and Species Continuity Lesson 1 Cell Division Types of Cells The first type is Somatic Cells Somatic Cells are all body cells except reproductive cells For example in humans and animals the cells of liver, skin, kidney are somatic cells. In plant, the cells of roots, stem, leaves are somatic cells. The second type of cells is reproductive cells, which are in humans and animals. The cells of testes and ovary are reproductive cells. In flowering plants, anther, which is the main reproductive organs in plant, and ovary, which is the female reproductive organ in plant, are from reproductive cells. So we have two types of cells, somatic cells and reproductive cells. Give reason for, the nucleus is responsible for cell division. This is because nucleus contains the genetic material of the living organism, which consists of a number of chromosomes that have the main role in cell division. So nucleus is responsible for cell division because it contains chromosomes. Chromosomes. What's meant by chromosomes? They are thread like bodies present in the cell's nuclei and they represent the genetic material of the living organism. As you can see, this is the image of chromosome. General structure of chromosomes. Chromosomes consist of chromatids. Chromatids are two connected threads. They are two connected threads and centromere. Centromere is the point of connection of the two chromatids of chromosome during the cell division. So this point of intersection between the two chromatids is called centromere. Chromosome consists of two chromatids and one centromere. Each chromatid consists of DNA DNA is the nuclei acid that forms the chromosomes that present in the cell nucleus and it carries the genes. Proteins. So, the chemical structure of chromosomes is DNA and protein. Information about chromosomes. The number of chromosomes in living organisms is different from a species to another. For example, in potato, it contains 48 chromosomes. In human, human contains 46 chromosomes. Pea plant, it contains only 14 chromosomes and so on. As you can see, the number of chromosomes is different from one species to another. But the number of chromosomes is fixed in members of the same species. Somatic cells contain two sets of chromosomes, one inherited from the father and the other from the mother. The number of chromosomes in somatic cells is a diploid number, or 2n, while in gametes or male gametes, sperms, and female gametes, which is ova, is haploid number, n, because when a sperm fuses with and OM, each one of them contains half the number of chromosomes. When they combine together, they will form a somatic cell, or zygote, which contains the full number of chromosomes, which is doubloid. Knowing the number of chromosomes helps in identifying the animal and plant species. In human, all somatic cells contain 46 chromosomes, while the gametes contain 23 chromosomes. 
cell division. Cell division is a complicated process through which the living cell divides into two cells or more to aim the growth or reproduction. Types of cell division. We have two types of cell division. The first one is called mitosis or mitotic division or indirect cell division. The second type is meiosis or meiotic cell division or reduction division. We will start our lesson by studying mitosis cell division. Its location. It takes place in somatic cells. Importance. Mitosis helps in growth of living organisms, compensation of damaged cells, and finally, completing the asexual reproduction process. Resulting cells. Two cells are resulted from mitosis cell division. Each cell contains the same number of chromosomes, which is diploid, 2n, of the parent cell. Before the cell division, the cell undergoes a phase which is called interphase. During interphase, the cell prepares for cell division. The amount of genetic material or DNA duplicates. Stages of mitosis or mitotic cell division. It includes only one stage, including four phases, which are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. We will start by the first phase, which is prophase. As you can see from this video, the nucleolus and the nuclear membrane disappear. Then, chromatin reticulum condenses, changes into the solid form to form chromosomes. So, chromatin reticulum condenses to form chromosomes, as you can see from this video. Spindle fibers start to form, extended between the two poles of the cell. As you can see, some fibers, which are called spindle fibers, start to appear. By the end of prophase, we reach the second phase, which is metaphase or mesophase. In this phase, as you can see from this video, the chromosomes, which are connected with the spindle fibers through centromere, are arranged along the cell equator. So chromosomes are arranged along the cell equator by the help of spindle fibers, which are connected to their centromere. So they are perfectly arranged along the cell equator. The third stage is called anaphase. As you can see from this video, the centromere of each chromosome splits lengthwise into two halves. So the chromatids separate from each other. Spindle fibers begin to shrink and the two identical groups of chromosomes, each contain single chromatid, are formed. Each group of chromosomes migrates toward one of the cell's poles. The final phase is telophase. The spindle fibers disappear. A nuclear membrane is formed at each pole of the cell surrounding the chromosomes, leading to the formation of two nuclei. The cell divides into two new cells which are diploid. Each cell contains 2N, the complete copy of chromosomes. So we have two cells 
from only one cell. These are the phases of mitosis. Note the following. In animal cell, the spindle fibers are formed by centrosome. Centrosome, it is a part of the animal cell which is responsible for the formation of spindle fibers. In plant cell, the spindle fibers are formed from condensing the cytoplasm at the cell poles. This jelly-like fluid, which is cytoplasm, is responsible for the formation of spindle fibers in plant cell. Give reason for the changes occur in telophase are called the adverse changes. This is because they inverse the changes occur in prophase from mitosis division. As you can see, in prophase, the nuclear membrane disappeared and the spindle fibers appeared, but in telophase, the spindle fibers disappeared and the nuclear membrane is formed. Some cells in the human body are not divided at all, such as nerve cells and red blood cells. Some other cells, such as liver cells, are not divided in normal conditions, but they retain the ability to divide under certain circumstances, such as liver transplantation. The second type of cell division is meiosis or meiotic cell division, or reduction division. It takes place in reproductive cells, or gonads. The importance of meiosis, it is important in the formation of gametes. In males, sperms or pollen grains in plants. In males, sperms in animals and humans. Pollen grains in flowering plants. In female, ova in animals and humans, ovule in flowering plants. Resulting cells. Four cells are produced from meiosis cell division. Each cell contains only half the number of chromosomes or haploid N of the parent cell. This is the first stage of meiosis. And this is the second stage of meiosis. As you can see, we have four cells. Each cell contains only half the number of chromosomes. Before the cell undergoes meiosis division, it undergoes interphase, in which the cell prepares for division. And the amount of genetic material, DNA, is duplicated. Stages of meiosis or meiotic division. It includes two stages, which are first meiotic division, which contains four phases, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1. The second meiotic division, it contains also four phases, prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2. Stages of meiosis 1, or first meiotic cell division. It is subdivided into prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1. Prophase 1. Chromatin reticulum condenses to form chromosomes. As you can see from this video, this is the condensation of chromatin reticulum to form chromosomes. Chromosomes are arranged in homologous pairs. Each pair consists of four chromatids or tetrade. Crossing over phenomenon occurs. The nucleus and nuclear membrane disappear. Each two homologous chromosomes move away from each other. The spindle fibers appear and connect to chromosomes at centromere.
as you can see from this video. What's meant by crossing over phenomenon? It is the phenomenon that takes place at the end of prophase 1 and in which some parts of the two inner chromatids of each tetrade are exchanged to produce new genetic arrangement. As you can see, if we have two chromosomes, the red one and the blue one, which are attached together, the two inner chromatids will be exchanging, as you can see from this video. This will produce a new genetic arrangement. What is the importance of the crossing over phenomenon? It works on the variation of the genetic traits among the members of the same species. The second phase is mesophase 1. In mesophase 1, chromosomes which are connected to the spindle fibers are arranged along the cell equator. The third phase is anaphase 1. In anaphase 1, the spindle fibers shrink. So every two homologous chromosomes move away from each other. One of the two chromosomes migrates toward the cell pole and the other migrates toward the other pole. Each pole contains half the number of chromosomes of the parent cell. The final phase in meiosis 1, the spindle fibers disappear, a nuclear membrane is formed at each pole of the cell surrounding by the chromosomes leading to the formation of two nuclei. The cell divides into two new cells. Each cell contains half the number of chromosomes or haploid N. The second stage of meiosis is meiosis 2 or second meiotic cell division. Phases of the second meiotic cell division. Prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2, which are completely similar to the phases of mitotic cell division. Prophase 2, which is similar to prophase in mitosis, the nucleolus and nuclear membrane disappear. Chromatin reticulum condenses to form chromosomes. Spindle is formed extending between the two poles of the cell. The second phase, metaphase 2. The chromosomes which are connected with the spindle fibers are arranged along the cell equator. The third phase, anaphase 2. The centromere of each chromosome splits lengthwise into two halves, so the chromatids separate from each other. Spindle fibers begin to shrink, and the two groups of chromosomes, each contains a single chromatid, are formed. Each group of chromosomes migrates toward one of the cell's poles. The final phase is still phase 2. The spindle fibers disappear. A nuclear membrane is formed at each pole of the cell surrounding the chromosomes leading to the formation of two nuclei. The two cells divide into four new cells. Each cell contains half the number of chromosomes haploid N. Give reason for meiotic cell division is called by reduction division. This is because the produced cells contain half the number of chromosomes of the parent cell, haploid. Nanotechnology and cancer treatment. Cancer occurs when the body cells are divided continuously without controlling. As you can see, if we have a group of cells, if these cells started to divide continuously 
without controlling a huge tumor is formed which is a cancerous tumor as you can see from this video this is a cancerous cell which is moving with the bloodstream to spread the cancerous cell in all body regions this is what's meant by cancer nanotechnology and cancer treatment discovering cancer disease by using nanotechnical as follows this technique starts by loading proteins with nanomolecules of gold and then injecting them into the patient the golden molecules pass through the blood of the patient then proteins attach on the cancerous cell surface to monitor it through a microscope each cell separately by using the gold we can monitor them by using microscope so we can detect the presence and place of cancerous cells we can treat the cancerous cells also by using nanotechnology this is done by focusing laser with a certain degree to the gold molecules then the gold molecules absorb the light and convert it into heat which burn and kill the infected cell as you can see from this video these are the gold particles which move with the bloodstream this is the cancerous tumor by using a special needle or by using laser beam as you can see gold molecules will absorb this heat energy from laser beam and this will lead to the death of cancerous cells treatment of cancer by using developed microscopic bombs using nanotechnology scientists have developed smart microscopic bombs that penetrate the cancer cells and explode them from inside they were used to kill the cancer cells in experimental mice mice suffered from the cancer were able to live 300 days after this treatment as for mice that did not receive treatment they didn't live more than 43 days only thanks for watching this is the end of lesson one